This is part two of our video series on small house design and framing. In this uh, part of the series, we will be going over the roof framing plan, which is often going to be a structural plan. Um, it's probably going to have all the shear panel and um, headers, um, any type of structural members uh, might be on this plan. Um, sometimes you are going to have a roof plan and a structural plan. Um, and uh, But in this one here, I'm actually going to combine the roof framing plan with the structural plan because there's not a lot of uh, structural information that uh, we're going to be looking at. Now, there won't be any details on this particular plan. I'm going to try and, um, I mean, if I had a bunch of lines going everywhere, it'd be a little confusing. It's not going to be uncommon to have a roof plan like we're looking at here with lines and circles going everywhere. And I just didn't want to booger it up and confuse everybody on that. I actually looked at an uh, example of one of the plans um, a while ago for another job, and I couldn't believe how much information it had on it or how many uh, details and circles and cross sections and holy smokes. So I could see where that could get a little confusing. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get started at the bottom right hand corner. Um, two by eight fascia board. A lot of times they're going to call out the fascia board, what size it's going to be, and the distance away from the house that it is going to be. Two foot um, seven sixteenths inches in this case. And I'll explain more on this here in a little bit. Six by ten beam. This is the porch beam. Um, two by ten RR, two by ten roof rafters two foot on center. Keep in mind that the single dash or the apostrophe means that it is feet and the quotation marks or the double dashes represents inches. So um, two by 10 roof rafters. Now I'd like to point out that even though this says R period, R period, it might not always mean roof rafter. So you will need to uh, make a note of that. I can't tell you how many times I've came across something that uh, meant something else and uh, thinking that it uh, thinking that it was like a standard um, initials uh, and it wasn't. A lot of times the structural plan is going to call out for the header sizes, four by six header here, four by six header here. Let's take a look at another section. Here we have the um, gable end overhang, it's different, 1 foot 7 sixteenths inches, and a 4x4 four four post. A lot of times you are going to have um, certain size materials um, called out for a 4x4 four four post, for example, and the building hardware that would be connecting everything in a detail. And again, that'll be in the, the next part. Um, four by four ridge beam. This would be the beam that would be supported by the four by fours and would be supporting the load from the roof rafters. So this was actually the wall. We're using the wall here to support the load. And here we can see full height wall to support roof rafters. The beam would simply be an extension of that to support the roof rafters on each side. Four by 12 header for the garage door. And here's what I was talking about with the one foot seven sixteenths, the way that the software I was using for this design called it out. Um, they were actually calling it um, going to the wall framing um, instead of the um, from the edge of the building. But it's not going to be uncommon for an architect to just call out a one foot overhang or a two foot overhang for something like this. And, um, and then, of course, it'll be from the face of the um, plywood or the face of the framing kind of a, kind of a thing. And uh, like I said, it's usually just going to be one foot or two foot. But most of the time, it's not going to be a big deal if this is off an inch or two. Uh, no building inspector architect's going to complain about that, or I should say mo most of them wouldn't. I should say that I've never ran across anybody who's ever even measured that, except for maybe me. Um, here's the headers again, four by six headers. Now here we have the floor plan again, um, 
but I want to talk about the elevations. Here we have an arrow that says north, little arrow and north. Let me go to the next frame. Is these symbols can be a variety of different things. North it could be a compass, um, and these arrows can be facing in a variety of different directions. This actually tells us where the elevations are going to be located. Now the old elevations are going to be located on the side where it is actually facing. Um, so this is actually the north side of the building. This would be the south side, the west, and the east side. So, And it's not uncommon. I mean, even if you didn't have this symbol here, most of the time you can actually look. You know, if I was looking at the front of the building um, and I seen the garage door was uh, on this one, I know it's on this side. You know, if I'm looking for this side, I'm going to be looking for the porch or maybe this door here and these windows, maybe a small window. This one over here doesn't have any windows and doors on it. It's not hard to figure some of this stuff out, but this can make it easier um, for, uh, for the process. So here's an elevation, the south elevation in the back of the house. This is the porch area. We have a window, sliding door. It's calling out for stucco uh, finish and composition shingles. West elevation, this is, the, this is the wall without any windows. And now we're at the front of the house or the north elevation. Um, garage door, front door. Uh, so now I put this in here because I want to I, I want to try and uh, put certain things in there. So I like again, so I'm not cluttering everything up um, with a bunch of details. Um, here it has C page 22 for garage door specification. And this might provide you with the width and the height and the type of door. So it's not uncommon to have something like this um, on an elevation if they don't have room for it on the floor plan or the roof framing plan. So uh, keep that in mind also. Uh, east elevation, this would be the garage over here and this would be the patio with the door. And I believe that is it for our elevations and that is it for this video. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment area. For this particular video series, try not to email anything to me. Um, put all your questions in the comment area for others to read and it might be helpful for them throughout the series. If you email them to me, then I won't be able to um, put them in the comment area for everyone to read, or I should say I probably won't be wasting my time doing that. Um, so try to put all your questions in the comment area if you can, and uh, that way everybody can read them.